Hey, what's up everyone? Totally dubbed here. And um, I thought to give you a flashing video on Omega V33.1. But at the moment I'm on Omega V33, which was the initial um, release. Uh, this is based on 4.1.2, as you can see. So I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of the ROM itself, because the change log between 33.1 and 33 isn't that huge. Uh, by that I mean there's just slight uh, modifications like the percentage battery mod, uh, silent camera, and whatnot. But the actual essential bit of the ROM is going to be similar. So you've got your normal normal things over here. There's just some things which are added in 0 0.2, 4.1.2 uh, 4, uh, 4 over 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. And the biggest thing is multi-window and this notification panel. So if you're accustomed to custom ROMs, which I'm pretty sure you are if you're watching this video, then you'll know that um, normally we can't customize toggles. But this time, it seems like Samsung is basically going a custom root way, which is brilliant, a custom ROM way, sorry. And you can actually customize your toggles. So as you can see over here, I've got these toggles there. And if I add that, for example, you'll be able to see that I've got that added option right there. So this is great that Samsung is looking into adding more um, um, customization options because at the end of the day, Android is available and we can you can do um, loads of customization options so that usually stock ROMs and things don't allow you to. But it seems like Samsung is going the right way with this. Um, so we've got that, we've got the notification panel and you've got the multi-window. Now the multi-window I'll show you in just a second which is absolutely epic. It's basically it's a feature from uh, the Galaxy Note and um, I will show you right now what I'll do is turn it on from here, I could have turned it on from over there, but anyway as you can see there's a little um, little thing uh, which is added over here you can get rid of this, if you hold the back button it will go away if you hold it again it will come back multi window literally as the name suggests is almost like Windows 7 where you can have one bit of the screen up and one bit of the screen down if that makes sense so what I'm going to do is add two things, so I can add Chrome right there so as you can see it's full screen chrome which is normal so you can type in whatever you can I don't know go bookmarks desktop bookmarks uh, let's go YouTube So as you can see this is my chrome it's synced up to my account and you can see um, YouTube is open up so that's great but now I want to actually multi view multi view I will just basically add let's say it just sign me in there I'll add something in so what I'm going to do is add Google Maps as you can see it's added it in a secondary screen and you can see there it's picking up my location which is brilliant so I'm using maps over here but at the top I'm using YouTube now, I think this is a really nice feature this is almost like like a desktop uh, let's try and see if it, the rotation is gonna work over here there you go a little better view over there so I can be browsing YouTube whilst looking at the map um, there's different applications which are capable of this at the moment it depends on what application is um, available um, there's a handful of applications if I go to edit you can see I've get, gotten rid of Super Manager and uh, Video Player um, from that list but there's several applications which are available but I'm pretty sure knowing XDA there's gonna be people which are gonna be bringing out more uh, features um, well more um, a way of unlocking for all the all the other applications but anyway I just think this is absolutely epic as you can see you can resize there and whatnot and I think this is a really cool feature so I showed my friends and my friends were like you know what that's actually really cool um, and you can switch like that and you can see how quick and fast it is obviously I am on power saving right now but I've got a quad core inside this baby um, and you can see it's being used at full flourishing now you know it's, it's no lag right there it's just quick if I want a full screen one opens it up there I just think this is taking um, phone browsing um, to another level basically um, it is should I say really relatively simple uh, considering you know, you got something like this on Windows it's just nice to see uh, it coming to flourishing. Anyway, now I'll go and flash over 33.1. Um, so what I'm going to do is get into recovery. So first of all, I'm going to have to power off because there is no recovery boot option over there. Um, whereas in the 33.1, there is the re uh, reboot menu with the recovery uh, and download options. So I'm going to go up into recovery. Now I have to say downloading this ROM was a pain in the fucking ass, I'm not going to lie. Um, 
because I don't have torrents, I can't use torrents at university, which I, I can if I bypass the system, but anyway, long story short, I can't, and I had to use bloody deposit files, and it literally took one hour, one and a half hours on a 20 megabit connection, so just be warned when you're downloading this wrong, it takes a long time. The ROM size is 800 megabytes, but, um, you know, it would be good if there was a different like host, uh, for example, dev host or someone like that. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a full wipe. This is a no wipe um, uh, ROM. The 33.1 is a, a no wipe, but I'm going to full wipe it anyway, just so that you guys can see how it works. So a wipe factory data reset, wipe cache, and I'm just going quickly going to check something um, from zip. External, where's my external? Yep, okay, that's fine. What I want to check is my titanium backup thing there. What I'm going to also do is wipe my internal SD card. Uh, because I've got an external SD card, I can flash from my external SD card as well. So as you can see here, it's 33.1. So I'm going to choose that and install. When I first installed this um, V33, I had a problem when I chose custom installation. For some reason, it screwed up um, and I couldn't actually download a single app from the market. Uh, again, I did the same procedure as you just saw here and it wouldn't work. So what I'm going to do now is just do a full installation. As you can see over there, you can back up your EFS. So you can remove all bloatware installation, you can custom installation, or you can default installation, which is all apps. So what I'm going to do is all apps, especially I can show you what um, it comes with, because um, for me, usually I just titanium backup. I get rid of manually each one that I don't want. So this will take a little while, and I'll get back to you guys after it's done. And I'm back. So as you can see, it's installed all these apps, um, which is great and I'm gonna go next and reboot now rebooting does take a little while do bear that in mind uh, last time it took around five minutes to boot just be patient with the booting of your um, your S3 there's a really cool boot animation as you can see the Omega droid right there it looks very cool so this does take a while um, so just be patient right so it's just booted up and I'm gonna go through setup Right, there we go. Pass setup now. All the uh, things which come up, as usual. Right, so just to show you. Based on, let me turn up the brightness. There we go. 4.1.2 DDD, <laughs> double D, no triple D, LJ1, um, and as you can see Omega 33.1, ba based on XXELK4. So just to go through all the, well just to show you all the apps that are included in a full installation, you've got All Share Play, Audio Manager, Chat On, you've got Chrome, you've got CWM Manager, e ES File Explorer, you've got Flipboard right there, um, obviously you've got your normal apps like Google Plus and whatnot. Uh, Messenger Plus, you got Paper Artist, which is very cool indeed. Uh, that's from um, that's from the Note 2. You got new message that's um, messaging, um, not your normal conventional messaging. There is two different types of messages, there and there. Uh, S Voice, you got Fast Dormancy, um, Toggle, you got Roll Tube, um, which is YouTube. You got Z Ar uh, Archiver. Online Nandroid Super SU obviously included, so you can see it's there. Let's go into the widgets. Here are all the widgets. So quite a few. Obviously, pause the video if you need to see which what it is. I'm just going reasonably fast through them because there's quite a few of them. Anyway, that's that. And um, as you can see, the multi-view thing is there. And here are all the apps. You've got chat on, Chrome, email, gallery, Gmail, internet, maps, messaging, talk, and video player, which can be all uh, used with multi-view. So there you go. And let me just check the Play Store.
there you can see Flipboard is the one which needs to be updated. Apart from that, all the other ones have been updated. As you can see, Titanium Backup is installing properly. There we go. Which is great. So I'll let that download. There's a home button lag, um, as usual, if you've got S Voice. So if you've got S Voice, which there is over here, I suggest going inside it and disabling the. Disabling the home button, open via home button. This is the ones I untick usually. I just do that. That, as you can see, I've done it so many times, and I also uninstall S Voice via Titanium Backup after. Also, I should mention that there's Task Manager uh, app as well. So there you go. RAM usage. Let's clear the RAM. 344. You can see it was at 500 before got a text right hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, hopefully it's uh, useful for you um, please do rate comment subscribe do donate to the developer uh, developers shall I say because quite a few there's a team working on it so yeah um, as one more thing I just forgot is that it's swipe is also included um, I'll just show you the version I think it's going to be over here, there you go, 3.26. It's not the swipe beta, it's um, swipe, which was out before. Um, so let me try and go into, let's go messaging. And here you can see it's this one, this version. It looks a little bit odd, but anyway, it works. <laughs> Completely off there. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Take care, totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.